I've always said is that from prom is on a path towards transformation and development. Today is another wonderful day, and we are here in prom prom. Today we are at the Fed Soccer Academy, a growing soccer academy, and one of the best soccer academies here in prom prom. And we are going to interact with the founders of Fed Soccer Academy to know more about how they started, where they are going to, and what they have done so far. You are welcome to your favorite channel, the Prom Prom Boy TV channel. If you are new to this channel, kindly subscribe. Click on the subscribe button in the bottom corner and click on the bell so that whenever we drop any new video, you get to know. Like our video, share our video and make a comment. It gives us feedback on what to do next. Follow me as we go and interact with the founders of Faith Soccer Academy here in Prom Prom. Alright, so we are here at Faith Soccer Academy here in Prom Prom. We'll be interacting with the founders of Faith Soccer Academy to know more about the academy, how they started, where they've gotten to, and the way so far forward. So let me invite the man in charge, the founder, the founder yes, the founder himself, uh, popularly known as Jaru. Actually, he'll be telling us his, his name, his name uh, proper. And then what he has been up to so far. So let me invite him. He's having his team here as well. So let me invite him. You are welcome, my brother. Thank how's, you, how's it been? Everything is fine. Everything, everything has been cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everything yeah. is amazing. Faith Academy here is a very wonderful place. Yeah, yeah. We're trying to transform the life of the underprivileged, as you know. You know, when you tell people that this academy, a very wonderful place like this, is also in Prom Prom, people mm -hmm. begin to doubt. Mm -hmm. When you see the pictures on social media, mm -hmm. And you tell them that this place is also in part of Prom Prom, and the, the wonderful players you see around are all from Prom Prom. Mm -hmm. They all begin to doubt. What, what, what do you have to say? Well, let, first of all, tell us your name. My name is Chawe Jacob Oluaka. Chawe Jacob Oluaka. Oluaka. A Prom Prom boy. A Prom Prom you know, boy. Prom Prom. Okay. Raised in Prom Prom. Okay. Uh, so I'm a hardworking guy as well. I can see that. Yeah. I can see that. Doing this means you are very hardworking. Yeah, you know. Right. You have to be very determined and dedicated to this job before you can move on. Sure, sure, sure. Why Faith Soccer Academy? Why even the name Faith Soccer Academy? Because, you know, we read the Bible a lot and by your faith, and if you believe, you can get to wherever you want. Everything goes by the faith. Okay. If you believe, mm -hmm. you get what you want. Okay. So we try to pick that. So you are, you are moving by faith? You are moving by faith and everything goes by faith. Okay. Yes. Why didn't you choose any other field when you chose soccer? Soccer. Yeah, because uh, we, we we have a lot of people learning masons, carpenters around, but you you decided to choose soccer. Why why soccer? You know, soccer is a, a game that brings people together. Mm. You know, it's a game with a lot of love and passion. You know, okay. A lot of people always you know come together, cheer themselves because of soccer. Okay. It's a it's a all different sports altogether. Okay. And it's a, in a game that I love so much. Okay. That is why I choose this game. When, which, in which year did you actually start Faith yeah, Soccer Academy? I started this project uh, on the 7th of September 2014. Wow. Yeah, by myself. By yourself? Yeah. You know, taking care of the boys, you know, because I've been raised up in Pram Pram, you know, Pram Pram, most of the guys, if you don't try to bring them over, they go into drugs, you know, moving on, you know, in propaganda life that yeah. is not appropriate. Okay. So I decided to, you know, also, you know, make an impact in the community to, okay. you know, help the community develop. Okay. So that is why I choose, you know, sports. 
What is what is the support that you got? Did you get any support from family, friends, yeah. neighbors? That Hello. was the time we started. I'm, I'm, I'm running the business by myself. You know, I'm a graphic designer by oh, profession. Sure, sure. So my income, that is what I used to run the business. Okay. That was in 2016. I met uh, Mr. Endoka Kako at the district okay. assembly. Okay. Who is a quantity surveyor. He also okay. has a passion to, you know, help transform the life. Okay. Somebody who doesn't live in Pram Pram also have the love to, you know, change life. Okay. You know, we keep on running this business and I met, you know, a lady from the United States who is Sophia Campbell. That is a family as you can see from my background. Sophia Campbell. Yeah, that is a family you can see. Oh, okay. That was uh, I met her in 2019. So okay. Uh, we started to talk and how we're going to transform the life of these underprivileges and, you know, she was so touched. Uh, uh, after she visited this place, she was mm. so touched and decided, okay, this is what I'm also doing, going to do to help the project grow. Okay. So you can see a big difference, bringing people all the way from the United States because of facial calculation. I can see that. Yeah. I can see that. I mean, it's a great inspiration too. And we are, let me, let me say that we are happy to have you here in yeah. Prom Prom, uh, helping transform. I'll, I'll get to them yeah. to, to know more about their family and why they choose to support facial Academy later. But tell us, uh, how many players did you start with? I started initially, before I started with about 30 Youth players, mm. 30 youth players. Uh, what was, was the age range? That was eight years, nine, ten. I was mm. eleven. I was dealing with the kids. Okay. Way back, okay. You know. But um, when we approaching to 20, uh, 2017, we decided, okay, we have other big guys in the community that they are they, are, they have the passion to play, mm. but you know they're not getting the support. So I decided, okay, this is what I'm going to do. I need to devise a strategy to get another, you know category okay. in addition to the youth guys okay so that is how we came up you know doing the business and it's it going well though it's not you know it is an NGO as you know mm. everything comes from our own pocket it doesn't go it come from anywhere no okay. income from anywhere you know our community okay so I try to convince the guys talk to them okay this is what I'm going to do to support you because football is a whole brand all together and okay it's a, you know it's, it's it's a game that is played with passion and love you know okay so I try to divide a strategy to get the, the youth team that is a under 17 that under is 17. also about 30 players we managing you know things are going well you know sometimes obstacles and stuff mm. you know we need to put them to school they go to school you know we mm. feed them you know, sure. a whole, we take and the percent responsibility of the players I that see. you see in the bottom. I see. You know, f from the letter we make, okay. from our own, you know, sweat. So as time goes on, things working well, and you know, we we, we, we believe in that this project is going to be big yeah. by the support of my, my people who came from the state. You know. how, how many players? How you, how many categories? Under what? Under we what? We have under thirteen. We have under 15 mm. before we have the under 17. Mm. How many players in all do you have? 60 boys. 60 boys. And 60 boys, I think of 60 boys. We're taking, we're taking every responsibility, mm. being the addresses, mm. school, you know, everything. This is a huge responsibility, you know you that? Know, you know, and you this know. money can be used to do a lot for yourselves. Right, but, <laughs> right. But this is what we choose to do. Yeah, the I mean. We need, to, we need to support the community. We have a lot of people having money around. They are mm. not doing this. And young boy like you doing this. Yeah, that is my calling. Mm -hmm. yeah. So everybody with a special calling yeah, do something. Yeah, that is my calling. Right, right. Let, let me let me speak to the Campbell family, right? Right. The, right. the Campbell family. So please come closer, come closer. Let's let's have this conversation. Uh, you, you look like twins. Are you twins? Maybe, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> maybe you are twins. Yeah. Okay, okay. So your your name is Mikel. Mikel, and you are Omari. Omari. You are from the United States. Yeah, so they say. So, so they say. Yeah. Oh, you are speaking like Jesus Christ. So, <laughs> so they say, right? That's wonderful. So you are the Campbell family, right? And you are supporting Faith Soccer Academy, right? Why? Let me let me speak to Omari. Why did you decide to support Faith Soccer Academy? Because we see an opportunity to give back to where we're from. Okay. Because even though we live in the United States, our heritage is back here in Africa. Mm. So when my sister was fortunate to, you know, meet and have a conversation with Jacob. She shared it with me, okay. and she said, you have to go to Prom Pom and see the boys. Okay. And when I was able to come and meet these beautiful, strong boys, I had no choice but to give back and help and do my part so they can see better days ahead. Mm. What, what, how has the project been so far since you started uh, look, assessing the project? Do you, do you think that there is a bright future ahead with this project that you have involved yourself into? Absolutely. I mean, the, the, the talent is remarkable. Okay. Every one of these boys are talented. 
Okay. Every one of these boys are talented and all they need is opportunity. Okay. So it's our job to make sure they get that opportunity so they can be seen by the world. Okay. So we're going to do our part and make sure that these boys are successful okay. and are able to see what we have seen. Okay, let me speak to Michael. Yes. Ma Michael, uh, what is the future like uh, uh, with the support you are giving? What is the future? What, 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 what do you intend to do more to support with what you have seen so far? You've seen talent. Right. What do you intend to do more to, well, to boost the talent that you've seen? Good question. Um, I hope to bring knowledge, okay. right? Because like my brother uh, alluded to, mm -hmm. opportunities don't come from places like these. Mm. You know, where we're from in New York, coming here and stepping foot in here, we felt the energy immediately as we landed, mm. right? Look at the living conditions here, right? Sometimes they have one meal a day, mm. right? Having a couple of meals and sports makes it easier to produce at the highest level, mm. right? All right, so, so um, if you look at these boys, uh, are you going to link them to teams outside for them to go out there and go and play? Uh, yeah, well, absolutely. Um, we, what are some of the teams that we, we, they, they are, you've seen opportunities that you think that you can link them to? So with our academy back home, we've been linked to teams like New York Red Bulls. Okay. I've had players that gone there. I've had players that went to NYCFC. Um, we've had players that gone to the Cosmos. Okay. And these are some of the popular teams if you Google them. That's really big academies in, okay. in New York. Okay. So it means that they, they very soon some of them we are looking forward for that some of them to join some of those teams outside there. Oh, they have the ability. Absolutely. absolutely. It's just you know, the opportunity. Okay. Okay. But we have to give them that bridge to okay. bridge the gap for the opportunity to come. Okay. What what advice would you like to give to the youth, the youth that are watching this? What what advice would you like to give to the youth out there? Um, well, with the small conversations I've had with some of the boys, a lot of them have mentioned that it's their dream, right? So, how do you fulfill your dream? You keep you get up every day, you have faith, hence the name of the academy, and you keep following that dream. Work hard daily. Every day is a, is a new day. It's a new start to get better at your craft. Don't don't skip a day. Let me speak to Omari once again. You have made mention of the fact that you you, you feel the spirit. Uh, you are you are from Africa, right? Correct. And and you feel the, the presence of Africa when you came here. Correct. What what message would you have, have, would you like to give to the those in the diaspora watching us, Africans in the diaspora? The one message I would say is you have to come back. Mm. Always have to come back home. They say that if, if, a, if an animal leaves his home, he'll wander, he'll go around, he'll go around the neighborhood, but he's always going to come back. Okay. So that's why we're back here. We are the diaspora. Mm. So everyone in the States, abroad, you have to come back home. Right. This is our land, okay? The richest land in the world. You have other places coming here and stealing from this land, and we're not doing it no more. We're going to come back, we're going to take control of our land and do what's right. These beautiful children. I think he deserves a clap, right? Let's let's clap for him. Right? Powerful message, you know. So that is a very wonderful message to the people, uh, African uh, origin of diaspora. You know, he said they come back home, and that's a very powerful message from Omari. And Charlie, it's a privilege. It's a privilege to Let's meet you. Respect, yeah, yeah. Your director is here. Please, your name is. Enoch Akakbo. Enoch Akakbo, yes. I've, I just said a lot about you. There's a lot of interaction going on about the support you have been giving to Fit Soccer Academy. Why didn't you invest your money into any other business? Uh, young, energetic man having some money. Invest into another business. Why is Fit Soccer Academy investment? I love football. Mm -hmm. The passion is there. Okay. You know, the family has invested into football before and I want to continue from that level. Okay. So with this man, we want to go to the highest level in football. Okay. So, seeing these kids, sometimes you have that feeling that you can impart some knowledge into them. Okay. You know, for them to grow up to be responsible kids, playing, you know, professional football, those who can make it through education, we're looking at that. Too. Okay. Yeah. Right. I, I, I doubt you you like to give us a rough estimate of the investment so far. We don't want to go there now. <laughs> <laughs> want to go yeah, there yeah, now. yeah. But I, you know, football, it's you know, oh, yes, it's capital ball, intensive. You know, yeah, yes. Yeah. So, yeah. That, so we wouldn't go there. Right. Yes, right. Yes. right. We are not looking at that. We don't want to look at talk about money that is going down there. But right. we want to see these kids grow out to be resp you know responsible kids. That's all. Professional let, footballers. Let me ask this: this. Mm -hmm. uh, you, you've started since 2014. Uh, 2019, you started picking up with the connections that you, uh, Jacob has gotten. Let me ask you, uh, how many players can you boast of that you've been able to push to a certain level so far? So far, we 
started started from 2019 yes, coming. Yes, we can talk of hope available in America. We have. We have Yes. Uh, so, but one of the trends that is hope, we're setting hope. hope he, he's he's trending so far. He's playing FC Dallas in the United yes. States. FC Dallas in the United States. Yes. That is great. That is great. That is, that's a clap. Just, let's have a clap. Let's have a clap. You know, you know that a is young one. A young one is also with Wafa. Okay. We have a player with Wafa. A player in Egypt. Okay. You know, Accra Lions. Okay. Oli. You know, we have you know, young guys playing good football. Right. And very soon we we'll see them mm. playing at the highest level. In as a director, what has been some of the challenges that you have faced uh, with trying to raise this academy as a director? What are some of the challenges that you faced? It, it's, uh, we want to see the parents, you know, have that love for the kids. Okay. Parents come to leave their kids with us. They don't even come back to ask how best they're doing. Okay. okay. We want to see the parents partake in, you know, growing up of these children. Okay. Okay, they should come, see them. Some, you know, they, their parents don't even know where they live in, seriously. Wow. We, we only talk to them. When you invite them for a meeting, they wouldn't even come. Okay. Okay, so those are some of the challenges. The parents should also be part of this project. You know? Okay. And anybody that has that love for the kids should also come. Okay. You know, we, we really need support, okay. you know, to help grow up these children, to be professional players. Let me, talk to, let me talk to Jacob. Talking about support, mm -hmm. talking about support, so far, what support do you need? We need a lot. Uh, yeah. A lot. <laughs> a lot. Because what we're talking about, we need, you know, we, we need financial support, you know. Okay. We're talking about financial support. You know what I'm talking about. Yeah. Because we have the intention of buying a whole bus, buying a whole house where we can, you know, keep the boys to live a good life. Mm. Understand? And, you know, we, 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 we wanted to buy a whole land that we can build a standard a a stadium yeah, right. that with academy that you can, you know, see we, you know, we develop it. Okay. So, uh, you need financial support, yes, which yes. will help you buy the land, the bars, and all that. Mm -hmm. Right. So, so that, that is, this is about Face Soccer Academy here in Prom Prom. You know, oh, they have been sharing inspirational messages. And we heard from the Campbell family, wonderful family, and they have shared their experience and what they want to do to support Faith Soccer Academy. And they have given their message out to the diaspora. They have advised the youth. The director is here. The founder is here. Yes, I have one strong Rastafarian around. Bless her, bless her, bless her, bless her. <laughs> right, so you introduce yourself to me. I, I can see you, you're clapping for him, right? Wonderful, wonderful, right. Are you know, one, yes, so... Yes, you know one of the vibe I'm feeling right now is the connection. You know the, the the boys are showing so much love to the the leadership, and I I am feeling that, that connection. Let me speak to you. please. Your name is Doctor B. Doctor B. Yes, that's wonderful, right? This is the first time I'm hearing a name like this with a heavy name. You are also here to support Faith Soccer Academy. Yes, uh, we deemed it important to give back. You know, as the Sankofa bird says, you go back to go forward. So our intention is to reach back into the annals of Ghana today to catapult Ghana forward into the future. Right. Well, so well, if, if you look, Ghana is a broad place, but you are here in Prom Prom. Prom Prom, but yeah. Prom Prom is a, a microcosm of what Ghana is. Ghana, yeah. So by helping Prom Prom, in you're turn, helping, we're helping Ghana. You're helping Ghana. And that, the that's, Africa, that's great, that's great, that's great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's, that's a very powerful one. Yes, you have a message? Yes. Uh, although soccer is what we see here, right. soccer is only a conduit, right. a gateway to assist these youths into becoming the best they can be. Right. To be realistic, we know that most of them will not become professional soccer players. Right. However, if we can instill in them the power of education, for example, they can use that as a platform to achieve so much more. Right. So the bigger goal is to teach a man to fish right. so that he can have food perpetually as opposed to giving him a fish right. where he's only fed for one day. Right. You know, let, 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 me speak to, uh, let me speak to the director on this. He just made a very important point. He indicated that uh, practically not all of them can become professional players. That's correct. That's right. That's right. right. So Aside the, the, the training for you to get the players, you are doing other things to help those who cannot professionally become players. That's right. What, That's what, right. what other things would you like to do? What are you doing? Everybody here, from the U13 to the 17, okay. you must be a school-going kid okay. to be part of Faith Soccer. Okay. Most of the U19, 18 are out of school. All right. 
those who cannot play you know professional football we're doing our best if it is a we have two guys that you know are in the university yeah. mm. some okay. are very brilliant i mean in terms of you know in terms of uh, education ed 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 education they're brilliant okay so those who can make it to the university they go in most of these kids are given books at the end of the at the beginning of the term okay we make sure we give them books whatever uh, financial assistance that we need to give to them we give to them so we so keen in their education as well they go into school and few of them you know work at our office okay they work there go to play in the evening when they are you know let's busy so they also generate so, some income yes, yeah, that's yeah. right that's powerful yeah, and that's what we used to you know used to fund feeding and all that that's right so, right so, that, that's that's education, that's right. we so keen in it we're mm. supporting them in our best would you like to help some of them learn some trade aside the education you know some of them can be very practical with their fingers and all that we like to help them learn some trade yes. as well when we see that in you okay that you want to learn a trade we will give you our best okay we'll give you our possible best too you know right okay. so this is more or less like an orphanage some way somehow helping the kids and unearthing talents i'm going to ask all of them one simple question and i i'll come to everyone uh, i'll start from uh, uh, is it Okay. Yeah, yeah, Michael, Omari, and then I'll come to Dr. B. And then, if you have the chance to change one thing in Pram Pram, what would you change? That is the question. If you have the chance to change one thing in Africa, Ghana, Pram Pram, what will it be? So let me start with Michael. If you have the opportunity, you are now here in, in, in Africa. Right. With this opportunity, if you want to change one thing in Pram Pram, in Pram, Pram Ghana, to be precise, what would you change? Uh, I would say the environment. The environment. Right. Why would I say the environment? Is because if you look around this right now, there's going to be so much more. Right. Right. As far as like the the garbage is concerned. Right. Right. A lot of my father's a doctor. Right. Right. A lot of the environment and the the negative thing from the environment, it produces something mental. Right. Getting up every day and seeing garbage. Right. Right. They say cleanliness is next to what? Godliness. Right. Right. So the right. environment. Now. Let me come to Omari. If you have the opportunity to change one thing, what will it be? Opportunity. Right. Every one of these boys deserve an opportunity okay. to be successful. Right. And like Dr. B said, it doesn't have to be football. It can be carpentry. Use your hands. But if they have the opportunity, I'm sure that they all will succeed. So, so given the opportunity, that's all they need so you is create opportunity. opportunity. Absolutely. Right. Dr. B. What one thing will you change in Africa, Ghana? Self-preservation. Self-preservation. Um, when I say self-preservation, what I mean is to utilize again the bird. Mm. Realizing that you have to go back to go forward. Right. And with that essence of going back, reaching back into your ancestry, you can't forget about your ancestors. Because it is on their shoulder that you stand. Without your ancestry, you would not exist. We are in the 64th anniversary of Ghana's independence. Yeah. That's essential that we remember those four parents of ours that paved the way for Ghana to become independent. And once you can have pride in your ancestry, it will transfer to pride in yourself. Right. And with pride, you can have faith because there is no faith without pride. Right. Powerful. Right. Let me come to director. What one thing will you change? I want to make sure that every kid in Pram Pram have basic education. All right. Because that is what they need. Okay. That's all. Every education. kid in Pram Pram should have Every basic. Kid should have basic education. Basic education. education. Right. That's that's powerful. That's, I, I think you would like to clap for your director. That's that's powerful. That's powerful. You know, so all too soon, all too soon we are gradually coming. All too soon, we are gradually coming to the end of the conversation. We will be speaking to some of the players. We'll be speaking to some of the players for them to share their experience with Faith Soccer Academy so far. And uh, the, the, the founder will also give us his last words. I think that that is very, very important that we take the last words uh, of the founder. So we'll speak to uh, some of the players uh, briefly, and then we'll speak to the founder and take his last words. We'll be back. So once again, we are here at the mini training ground of, of Faith Soccer Academy. And uh, I will be speaking to the captains to have a brief, a brief interaction with them on their ex experience and encounter 
with Faith Soccer Academy so far. So let me invite the captain. The captain is assistant is here. Yeah, so the captain is here. Come closer, come closer. Your name is? My name is Usuan Dofu Emmanuel. Usuan Dofu Emmanuel. Yeah. You are the captain. You've been captain for how long? For two years. Two years now. Yeah. Right. So you you are? Kenneth Kofi Mensa. Kenneth Kofi Mensa. Kenneth. Kennedy Kofi yeah. Mensa. Yeah. Uh, assistant captain. You have been assistant for how long? I think one and a half years. One and a half years. How, how has the experience been with uh, with Fit Soccer Academy so far? Okay. So far since I came here, it has been a good experience for me. Okay. Before when I came, I wasn't that that good. Okay. But since I came to this academy, they have taught me a lot mm. about football. Okay. How to play gent matches and stuff. Okay. I think the experience is good. I'm not getting better since okay. previous days. So oh. it's good. Yeah. Okay. How has the environment been? If you check the environment and the treatment that you have received with the leadership and all that, has have they treated you well? Yeah. For that one, it became mm. me very good since I came here. My coach, coach Jacob, he took me as his own son. Okay. Whenever I'm wrong, he, he tries to correct me. Okay. Both on the field and outside the field. So, okay. I'm, I'm very cool with that. Okay. Yeah. Will you advise anyone to join Fit Soccer Academy if they, they want to? Will you advise anyone to join uh, Fit Soccer Academy yeah. considering the, the experience? Yeah. I advise my friends outside there, those who are watching this video. Advise them to come because mm. it's very good uh, playing with Face Soccer Academy. You learn a lot, aggressiveness and a lot. So it's very good. And you get a chance to go and play outside. Okay. Yes. So advise them to come. Mm. Come and join us. We need them. So okay. you come. All right. You need you need everyone. Yeah. Let me speak to the, the assistant captain. You have been assistant. Has it been challenging? Has the role as an assistant captain been challenging to you? Oh, well, it has taken me a while. And... In fact, I'm learning new things. Okay. I was I wasn't the captain before. Okay. I wasn't a captain in my former team, but when I came to Fetter Soccer Academy, mm. like I've learned a lot of things being the captain. Okay. Yeah. Do you think that there is there is a hope uh, with with your presence at Fetter Soccer Academy? There's a hope for you in football, a professional football. There's yeah, a hope for you. Yeah. There is a lot, and I mean a lot. I have faith because. Uh, my my predecessors okay. like Hope, okay. Agbenuno has travelled and he passed through Face Soccer Academy. Okay. So I, I'm also having that faith that I can use this chance to travel. Mm. Yeah. Oh, so you want to travel outside and play? Yeah. Right, right. That, that's powerful. Let me, we have one one Frenchman over here. Uh, let, let, me, let me speak to you. Let me speak to, come closer. Uh, let me. You you will be speaking your French. How how do you see the experience generally with Faith Soccer Academy? Je suis les les frères. Yeah. Ok bon c'est très bien raison pour laquelle je suis ici donc je suis arrivé ici et puis que il y a une bonne collaboration il y a l'amour et puis il y a l'attente et et puis ils ont le projet puis un concernant et puis ils apprennent bien comment il faut jouer au football bon donc depuis mon arrivée j'ai appris beaucoup de choses avec eux donc je suis très content et je suis heureux d'être ici. Do you think do you think that there is there is an opportunity for any player that comes to Fit Soccer Academy? Yes, right, because uh, they have uh, ils ont des opportunités pour pouvoir aider les gens pour voyager. Donc, uh, je peux conseiller à tous mes frères qui sont en dehors du pays de, de pouvoir venir de pouvoir venir joindre le groupe et enfin de pouvoir avoir des de ces opportunités aussi pour pour, mm. pour tout voyager. Will you advise anybody to, jo to join you guys here, looking at you, using yourself as an example? Will you advise anyone to join you? Yeah, justement, justement, justement. I can advise all my friends to come to Ghana and to come more precisely and to come to join the Fet Soccer Academy because there are really, a lot of things here. It's very good, at least. It's very good, the training, they have a project in fact, that can help people to come to the country to go to the country and to go to the country and to go to the country and to go to the country. Puis j'ai vu des preuves aussi, il y a les joueurs qui ont passé ici qui sont à l'international, donc raison pour laquelle je crois en cela et puis je suis là encore, donc je peux les with, with, with you as a player, has there been any improvement in, in your style of play since you joined Fit Academy? Yes, 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 bah, ouais, depuis que je suis venu, je m'ai appris beaucoup de choses, donc je vois le progrès, donc raison pour laquelle je suis là, je suis très content d'être ici. All right, right, thank you so much. So, Captain, let me, let me speak to you again, and you are... 15 captains. 15 captains, right. Let me speak to the seniors. I'll, I'll, I'll get to you briefly. 
So, have, have there been any strong improvement in your style of play as a captain? Yeah, 100%. Mm. 100%. Right. I remember when I came here, I was, I was a winger. Okay. So, I, I played for one year and they couldn't change me to an attacking midfielder. Okay. I wasn't that good. I used to play bench. I used to start from the bench. But this year and last year, I've been starting. I always play 90 minutes. Okay. So, I'm, a, I'm very happy with that. Right, yeah. right. 15 captain. Who is the captain? Your, your name is? Vincent Pepra. Vincent Pepra. And you are the 15 captain. Yes. What has been your, the improvement that you have seen since you joined Fit Soccer Academy? Since I joined Fit Soccer Academy, my improvement was good and fantastic. Because yeah. the time I came to Fit Soccer Academy, I was a centre back. Okay. And coach took me, he trained me, and I have become a, a right back. Right, right. So you believe that everybody should join? Yes. You, so you, you are? Assistant captain. Assistant captain. Yes, Has there been any improvement in your life, in your style of yes. play? Yes, please. Do you think there's an opportunity for you? A lot. What's your name? Right, Asper. Right. There's a, is there an opportunity for you? Yes, please. In, in professional football? Yes. Which team do you like to play for? Manchester United. Manchester United. <laughs> in Ghana? If in Ghana, if you want to play for a team, do you have any, any team in mind? In Premier League or... Any, any team in mind that you would like to play for in Ghana? In Ghana, oh, I don't you don't have You don't have really have any team in mind now? Yes, right, that's wonderful. So, Charlie, thanks so much for interacting with you guys. Powerful, 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 powerful. Yeah. Right, Charlie. I stand captain. Right, so... It has been a wonderful interaction here at Fit Soccer Academy and I've been interacting with the leadership of the, the team, the team leaders, and the, the captain, assistant captain, and the 17 captain, 15 captain, and then our French man over here. And uh, they have been sharing their experience with us since they joined Fit Soccer Academy. They are calling on everyone to be part of this wonderful family. You can see in the background a training section ongoing. Uh, the players are trying to do, pick some drills and show us their skills. <laughs> academy and we have some trophies in the background and coach jacob is going to be explaining some of the trophies that we have uh, over here for us to hear so we can see some trophies yeah. we, we can see this what was the what was, how do you get this trophy yeah i won the best coach of citadel sports management tournament organized in ghana here yeah, they came all the way from the united so you won the best coach right. wow right we, and we they, what the, about this you won the first place of citadel Sports management tournament. Okay. Organized in 2019. This 2017 on it. Uh, 2017. Okay. Yeah. All right. And uh, I won the best coach again. That was a mistake they made about the um, the date. Right. It was in 2018 as well. And okay. My, players, my goalkeeper won the the, the uh, best the best goalkeeper. That is the, the best goalkeeper. That okay. Was way back 2017 and uh, the TSM Golden Boot as well. Okay. They are from the face of Academy one. Okay. And this, uh, um, that is what, the 2018 as well, we won that. This was um, when we started the academy, we played with a German tournament. Okay. And we came all the way from Germany to you know, organize the tournament and we won the, the trophy as well. Right. So uh, this is a wonderful achievement. What are some of the key teams you've played with so far? Some of the uh, I played with uh, Ankoti FC, that is a Division 1 team. I okay. played with Olympus, that is a Premier Division team. Even tomorrow we play with Interallies. Okay. It's a high profile game. I right. play with um, uh, Wafa, the okay. best academy in Ghana. We play okay. with them and it was an exciting game. All the time, my players are proving that they are coming from somewhere. Okay. Yeah. Right, right. So, uh, so once again, we are still here, Faith Soccer Academy. Wonderful conversation, wonderful people. People doing wonderful things to change the narrative here in Prom Prom. Are you, are you on social media? Yeah, we are on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook. 
Right. Yeah, when you go on um, Facebook, Face Soccer Academy, when you go on Instagram, Face Soccer Academy, when you go on Twitter, Face Soccer Academy. Right. LinkedIn, you are also there, Faith Soccer Academy. Right, so you can check so them you can out. Follow us on, uh, right, check them out, Faith Soccer Academy on all social media platforms. And like it and share it. Right, right, thank you so much. So it's been a wonderful conversation, and uh, uh, we'll speak to you again. Sure. Right. Yeah, thank you very much. I'm here again with the founder of Faith Soccer Academy, uh, Coach Jacob. That's, that's how the players called him, uh, Coach Jacob. And he's going to tell us one or two last words. Let me, before we come to the last words, let me ask you, um, are all the players from Pram Pram, or no, most of them are from outside? No, I, I, I tried to. Before, I was trying to help the community initially. Mm. But, you know, the moment the project is growing, you have to expand the business because there are so, people out there, of talent out there going you know, through a lot. Okay. Some of them don't have parents and stuff. So I decided to, you know, make it, you know, the whole game. Okay. I scout players from the Northeast sector. I have players from, you know, the Ashanti, you know, the Vota, the Central, the West team, to bring them close or to bring them over to support, you know, to support them and help them mm. for a brighter future because you don't know who you're gonna, who is going to help you in the future. Right. So it means uh, gradually this project is becoming a global project. It's a global project. As I'm talking to you, I even have a foreign players, two foreign players. That is from One is from Benin and one is from Ivory Coast. That is wonderful. Yeah. Now, what, what would be your last words? Considering what you have started, what would be your last words? Yeah, we're just hoping, you know, people who have the passion to support I, I want you to look into <laughs> our camera and, and give the world your last words. Yeah. We're just hoping people are going to support, people are going to wake up in the community to know what is all in the vision that I'm carrying. For them to support the project because this project is a wo all worldwide. I have players who are playing in Europe, international football. I started from somewhere, but if I tell you where I've taken this project to, to the top, you know, first class. Though we are not having the best of facility, but we are, you know, we are. We, this is a project that is worldwide. I have players playing in the United States. I have players playing in Italy, France, Denmark. Myself, I travel a lot, you know, to make deals for the players. So we, I'm just calling on the community to, you know, to support the project that I'm, I'm doing. If you're not going to support financially, we just need your, you know, spiritual support to let the project get to the level that we wanted it to get to. Right. That's wonderful. So thank you so much. Thank you. Uh, it's, it has been a very wonderful uh, conversation uh, today with the founder and then the uh, supporters of Faith Soccer Academy here in Prom Prom. And we've seen a lot of wonderful people, a lot of wonderful players, wonderful talent. And uh, so we'll come your way again with another wonderful episode uh, of uh, better and wonderful things happening here in Ningu Pram Pram. So today we are coming your way from the, the headquarters of Faith Soccer Academy here in Pram Pram. Thank you and see you next time.